G'day guys, how are you going? Uh, just at a food truck, um, yeah, local food truck. We're just on the flats, as they say, that's where, that's where we live. Um, it's, Marlis is, has got this food truck, uh, pretty new. She's, she's just got obtained a, a permit for the, for the council and stuff, which has been great. So she'll be up the Kalamunda markets and stuff. Um, so you've had a few problems with the, with the, um, the water on this van. You know, the, what was happening? Well, um, the pipes were not really, um, what do you say? So it would just squirt out. Yeah. yeah. And it was actually hot water all the time. So they've got a little storage hot water system in, in here. And the pipes that they've used aren't really suitable for um, to have really hot water, like 65 degrees, 70 degree water. So it just got all soft and then they just started popping. And there's about, I don't know, six or seven joints in there. They're leaking. So, and really the line that's leaking the most is the one that goes, that goes to a little um, hand basin because, you know, Part of the regulations you need to have a hand basin to wash your hand with with warm water you know because it's um very clean this you, you should come see it it's uh super clean german clean <laughs> so uh you know that she keeps it all up nicely and um so what we're going to do today is um take all that old pipe out um put a temp valve in so it's only like 42 degree water at the, at the tap there so it's a lot safer and also put a new pipe in that's you know a bit more uh, better for uh you know to, to, to cop the heat but anyway great story about this it's called Oma and Alpers. 1900 and a great story about it. Check out this, tell us about this. Well that is, um, you know, in my hometown Essen. Essen means um, eating actually, anyways. And that is my grandparents' um, pub that got recently sold and um, yeah, anyways. So 1900 means, you know, it was in family owned early 1900s yep. and um, yeah, that's the backstory. And so you're on Facebook? Facebook and Instagram, so it's Oma and Opa 1900. Yeah, check out where they are on Facebook because they, you know, post where they are on the weekends and stuff like that. Yeah. So stuff they make, check it out. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I'm going to now know about them. So, so it's going to be schnitzel with a mushroom sauce. We call it Hunter Schnitzel, you know, and then a typical German um, curry sausage, and we've got some sauerkraut in a bun, and we've got some goulash on special. For loaded tomorrow. fries. Loaded so what fries. are they loaded with? With mushroom sauce oh. and speck. Get into no, it, mate. Get a bit of European food. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get started, sort this out, and so she can get there. And you know, just worry about the cooking. Don't worry about the plumbing, because she's only got like 100 litres of water on here. So you imagine if it pops and it's super hot water, so pretty dangerous. It'll be all sorted. So I'll get to work, and uh, and I hope you guys come up and see her when she's at the market. Follow, her, follow. Her. Okay. Okay. So here's a little sink that you're meant to wash your hands, right? You don't want super hot water there. Just enough to you know keep it all all nice. The hot water system. Okay. So it's got a little electric hot water system, and you see that. It's got flexies connected onto it, and they just go straight. So this heats the water up to probably about, I don't know, 60, 70 degrees. The Australian stand said you need to heat that up about 60, 70 degrees to um, kill all the legionnaires and stuff. And that's connected directly to that, that base on the other side and also to the kitchen sink, okay? So what we're gonna do is have still hot water going to the kitchen sink here to wash your dishes and stuff like that. But we're gonna put it through a temp valve to go to the, the um, water underneath. I'll show you that. See the water just continually spilling out here, okay? I'll show you the, the pipe, it's all dripping. So if you look underneath it, see all these joints are all leaking, okay? They've tried to have a crack, but they just keep popping. There's so many joiners on this thing. You can just see that everyone's had a crack. And so you've got super hot water coming through these John Guest uh, fittings and pipes. And uh, that's why it's, you know, been, been playing up and leaking. So we're gonna replace all, all that today, put a temp valve on, and I'll, I'll show you the white pipe we use too. All right, so this is the uh, the John Guest pipe that I use for hot water. You know, when the water's you know pretty hot, they have in a lot of caravans. The MDC um, have the white pipe, down, hot pipes going to showers and stuff, and they have their own fittings. They look a bit like uh, I'll show you, like this. That's what the fittings are. And you get those from Kamek, okay? Um, and they they match up. You know, just just made for hot water, which is great. Um, they're also inside. You have these little sleeves that um, I'll show you. So inside. These little sleeves here, okay, that you can see, when you've, when you've cut it to the right size, you push that in there and it makes it really stiff. So when you push the fitting on, if it does heat up enough, it can't crush it and start to leak. And that's what's happened with this one at the moment. So I'll be putting the new temp valve in, um, high performance one in the cupboard. So I'll have coming out of the hot pipe, uh, coming out of the hot water system, coming out of the tea, I'll go copper line straight up to the mixer for the kitchen sinks and nice hot water. Then I'll go into the temp valve Another cold goes on the other side, that mixes it together, brings it out at 40 degrees or whatever we set it to for washing your hands. So it'd be a lot safer, but I'll show you as we go along anyway. Okay, cool. Okay, try and stay with me on this one. So I'll just show you. So out of the, 
you've got the hot water system here, okay, so this is the outlet to the hot water system. So there's 60, 65, 70 degrees water can come up here, and then this here will go to the mixer in the sink. Then it will travel into this temp valve. I like the Thompson temp valves. This is a high performance one with the orange lid. You use them for instantaneous hot water systems and also solar. Um, so they can cop a lot more temperature and also the, the flows a bit better, especially for the instantaneous hot water systems. So because you've got a 12 volt pump, these are probably the better ones to use. And then here on this line here, this is the cold, cold line. So I've got a cut of tea into the under the sink. The cold will go in here. 70 degrees in here, mixes around, okay, mixes a 70 and the, you know, the, the cold water drops it down about 50 degrees or whatever you set it to and then it'll come out and then it'll join onto the, to the new uh, white hot pipe and that'll go all the way to the basin. So I'll just chuck that in now. Okay, so it's all sorted. So we've um, cut all the pipes out under the hot water system. Now we've just got a separate line that goes from the hot water system into the kitchen sink. So nice hot water for getting off grease and stuff. And then the other bit goes into the temp valve where it mixes the water, to, takes about 20 degrees off it. And then we've just adjusted it. So we can go down to 45 degrees when you're washing your hands up there. Um, so it's all nice white pipe with those, with the, you know, the matching fittings and stuff. So they're meant for hot pipe. Because there's a couple layers in those that make it you know, quite good, especially with the inserts that go in no, she's going to have no problems with that anymore. Um, even the one up the end there, we've taken the plastic one out and put brass in, so it's brass to that, that good white pipe now. I'll show you the, uh, the basin, how it's all sorted out at the back here. So you see, I just got my uh, little, got my temp gauge here. Okay, got to turn that on. See that? So the, the water in the tank is, um, you know, it's going to be. 65 degrees or something, so now it's only going to 48, so so 45 degrees, so really good. Good to put your hand under, you can still keep it under, but it really gets gets all the fats and everything out, so that's um, success, so she won't have any issues with that anymore. So if you are out and about and you see uh, almond opers um, at the markets or something, give it a try, great German fruit, especially coming into winter stuff, you'll, you'll love it, so um, yeah, give them a try and uh, say, say good home for us. Okay guys, I'll catch you later.